Good morning, first graders. Are you ready for our day? Are you ready to take your tests and rock them? Show me what you know on your tests today. Show me how smart you are. I know you are. I want to see it on your work. We are going to be taking our comprehension test on how animals communicate. Did you watch the video of that yet? If not, you may want to stop this video and go watch the video of the story so that you remember it. We are also going to take our vocabulary quiz. We have the word our, and that means belonging to us. We have the word today, that means this day right now. We have she is another word for a girl. Now is this minute, right now. Right now, I am making a video for you. Her means it belongs to a girl. She has her pencil. And wood, it's not something you can knock on. It's not something you can build with. It's a word that kind of means maybe. Would you be my friend? Maybe you will, maybe you won't. I would, but you weren't nice to me. Would, maybe. Would means maybe. And we'll be having our spelling test. And here are spelling words. On, ah, n, on. On is O N. Fox. Ox, fox, a fox is an animal. Not, n-ot, not, n-ot, not, n-o-t, not. Got, g-ot, got, g-o-t, got. Pop, pip, op, pop, p-o-p, pop. Hop, 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 H O P, hop. Block, bull, B L, bull, ock, block. Don't forget that C K rule. Don't forget that L blend. B L O C K, block. Clock, cool, ah. K at the end of a short vowel word or syllable. All right, do your best and rock these tests. Let's do it. Let's look at our first test. Let me see what I've got. They're still in my folder. Uh, I have my own Thursday folder. Oh, spelling. Let's do our spelling test. It looks like this this week. Got it? Make sure you write your name on it. It's hard for me to know who did the paper if you don't write your name. Number one. Are you ready? On. Ah. Mm. On. I have a bump on my head. Not really, but it's a good sentence on. Number two, got. G -ot. Got. I got a new pair of shoes. Got. Number three, fox. Ox. Fox. I saw a fox in my backyard. Number four, pop. P -op. Pop. I'm waiting for the popcorn to pop. Pop. One was on, two was got, three is fox, four is pop, five not, n-ot, not, 
Do not forget to write your name on all your papers. Not. Number six. Hop. 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 I like to hop and skip at recess. Hop. Number seven, block, block, block. That's a five letter word, block, block, block. I took a walk around the block. And number eight. Clock, clock, clock. Another five-letter word. K -l -a -k. Clock. It's time for lunch when the clock says twelve. All right, let's go through them. One, on, two, got, three, fox, four, pop. Five, not, six, hop, seven, block, eight, clock. All right, I hope your handwriting is nice and neat so that I can read it and you can get your good grade. All right, your next task is the phonics test. So read carefully and find the best word to fill in the blank in the sentence because this is a phonics test. This is a test of how well you read words. So I will read you the sentence, but I will not read you the three answer choices because I want you to read the answer choices and choose the one that makes sense. Would you like to make a blank, Ned said. Would you like to make a blank, Ned said. Only one word would make sense. Our friends on the blank can come play too, said Rick. Our friends on the blank can come play too, said Rick. The friends blank how to make it. The friends blank how to make it. Can you see what they're making? I think they're making a clubhouse. They add a blank to it. Ned and Rick are blank. They have a club. Ned and Rick are blank. They have a club. Number six, Ming is on top of a blank hill. Only one word makes sense there. The hill is like Ming has a blank. Look at her blank on the hill. Look at her blank on the hill. And number 10, see her hat blank. Blank, blank, sorry. See her hat blank. All right, use the pictures to help you as well. And use your sounds to read the words. Vocabulary. Hen got a hat blank every sum today. Hen got a hat every sum today. The hat was too big for 
her, here, how. The hat was too big for her, here, how. A wig blank help the hat fit, said Pig. Away, why, would. A wig blank help the hat fit, Pig said. Away, why, would. I will look to see if I have a wig in blank box, said Hen. Our, to, we. I will, look, I will look to see if I have a wig in blank box, said Hen. Our, to, we. Hen ran to see if blank had a wig. Hen ran to see if Blank had a wig, said, she, some. The hat is a good fit, Blank, Hen said, now, of, our. Number seven, what is a chick? Is it a big pet? A mad bird or a baby hen? What is a cow? A big black cat? A big red animal? Or a big animal who likes grass? What is a skunk? An animal who sings? An animal who dances? Or an animal who smells bad? What is a snake, an animal who hops, an animal with no legs, or an animal who runs a lot? All right, you got more tests to rock. Comprehension, this is the one that's about our story. If you haven't watched the story video that I sent on Class Dojo, you're going to want to watch it. If you don't have Class Dojo and you just found this video by looking, all you have to do is search A Musical Day, that's the name of the story, A Musical Day on YouTube and you will find videos of people reading that story. What takes place at the start of the story? Aunt Viv sings, Tom makes a drum, Mom and Dad pack. Remember, we're talking about the start, first in the story. Aunt Viv sings, Tom makes a drum, Mom and Dad pack. How do the kids feel about Aunt Viv coming? Glad, mad, or sad? How did they feel about Aunt Viv coming, glad, mad, or sad? What takes place after Aunt Viv comes? The kids get a hug, the kids make a hat, the kids play guitars. So we're talking about right after Aunt Viv came, the kids get a hug, the kids make a hat, or the kids play guitars. What takes place before Glenn and Meg come? Remember Glenn and Meg were their friends who came over. Viv packs a bag. Mom and Dad come back. The kids and Viv clap, hop, and sing. What takes place before Glenn and Meg come? Viv packs a bag. Mom and Dad come back. Or the kids and Viv clap, hop, and sing. What takes place before Aunt Viv opens her bag? Glenn and Meg come, Aunt Viv plays a guitar, or Aunt Viv gets out a box. Right before she opened the bag, something happened. What happens after Aunt Viv opens her bag? The kids sing, the kids dance, the kids make guitars and drums. 
what takes place at the end of the story? Aunt Viv has to go. All the kids are in a band. Mom and Dad play the drums. Aunt Viv has to go. This is the very end of the story. All the kids are in a band or mom and dad play the drums. What can you tell about Aunt Viv? She sings well. She likes music. She plays a guitar. What can you tell about Aunt Viv? She sings well. She likes music. She plays a guitar. Who is the narrator of this story? Aunt Viv, a kid, or mom? Remember, we talked about who was telling the story. Was it Aunt Viv? Was it a kid? Or was it mom? What does the narrator do? Tells the story, hears the story, or makes up the story? What does the narrator do? We talked about that. And one last test, it's your studies weekly. You may need to go back and watch yesterday's social studies video, or you can look in your studies weekly booklet for the week. And this is about history. What is an example of a tradition? A, a pencil, or B, the way a family celebrates. ships, the Nina or Santa Claus. You can go back and look in the book. Columbus sailed from Spain or India. When did Christopher Columbus sail the Atlantic Ocean? 1942 or 1492? Be careful, those look a lot alike. The story of people and events of other times and places is What's that word? It's what this whole booklet was about. Where can we learn about history? Oh, there was a lot about that in the booklet. You can just write one. I'll be happy if you write one of them. You may want to copy it from your social studies booklet. All right. We, I will be back and on to the next video. Watch this again if you didn't catch everything and so that you can do your best on your test. Bye.